Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to another Black Ops commentary. Today, I'm actually going to be talking about the new Xbox 360 Black Ops update. Uh, this was, I think, pushed out uh, on the 21st. So anyone that updated and didn't know what it's about, because sometimes they don't really mention what the update is, you'd actually have to go searching for it. Well, uh, I found the Call of Duty board uh, that JD2020 has posted. He has a thread that he updates every time there's a new update. So I will be putting that thread in the description below. So uh, you can go basically follow along, look at what the updates are, and uh, be more updated. So let's get down to uh, one of the first updates, and uh, let's read it. Basically, the first update says, Addresses an issue with attack dogs causing them to warp under rare circumstances. So, I don't know what these rare circumstances are, but I have seen video. Now, it's weird because literally, the dog will... Normally, it would attack another player and then warp immediately directly to another player. It's it's really weird. I would recommend you guys searching YouTube for um, some of these um, what the like what the f attack dogs situations maybe. Um, you should be able to find some. Uh, I'm hoping there's a lot because obviously one video making this an update it would be kind of rare. But uh, there has to be a couple like at least at least a, a dozen more um, videos for this warping. But uh, yeah. That looks to be like the first update fix they've uh, kind of pushed out of the new update. Now, the second uh, fix, I've never even heard of this. I'm usually up to date on exploits just because it's like, I don't know, I'm just, I would see them, it would be popular or whatever. But the, the, the second update that they fixed was an exploit allowing players to purchase lock classified weapons. So, like, literally, if you're first prestige, this exploit would let you maybe buy a FAMAS or an, a G11, you know, kind of get those classified weapons if you first prestige. Now, that is crazy if someone figured that out. I haven't seen, like, how to do this. Uh, maybe looking on YouTube, trying to find how to do it. It'd be cool to kind of see how they did it, but now that it's been patched, it's kind of pointless to actually go look for those videos because it's clearly going to be patched it won't work so sadly this update if you wanted that glitch it's not going to work now the next one is another exploit basically they fix an exploit that allow players to get above 15 prestige using combat training slash player match menus so this is probably something to do with switching back and forth between combat trading and player match menus maybe like doing a quick s switch or something um, I remember there was some sort of way of getting colored names on like different like first prestige um, now obviously they fixed it if you watch any videos they um, obviously are pointless no reason to watch them but uh, above 15 prestige, what can you do past 15 prestige? That's, I don't even understand why would you want that, you know? Like what, do you unlock all the weapons, you know? Like do you get like god mode? Like what's the point of getting past 15 prestige? I, I, I just don't get it. Resetting your stats once you're 15 prestige and you have everything? Well, that's cool. <laughs> but obviously that's not the thing. Um, the next one is improvement to spawn system. Now, right off the bat, when I was looking at this, I'm like, well, what's it for? Is it for, is it for like, all types of spawns? Like, are they randomizing it? Or, like, what are they doing, right? So, I kind of did a little quick research. Uh, I seen some other people's videos, and it looks to be a respawn timer for uh, demolition. Some I've seen some on uh, Havana, like, where the other team is literally captured or more of like killed in, in that little square for their spawn. That's ridiculous because like I, I think if that whole team has been getting raped in that one corner, like literally that whole team should be spawned on the opposite side of the map just to give it a fair like way to, to win the game instead of being a spawn team. But uh, looks like they fixed that spawn system. I don't know if it's a big, big difference, but uh, looks like they fixed something. The next update addresses some bugs with custom game settings for capture the flag related to touch return disabled. So clearly, like it says, if someone's doing a custom game, if 
the touch return is disabled, maybe it doesn't work. And if it doesn't work, then when you're actually playing the game, you could literally basically have to stay on the flag. It might be disabled or just really something will screw up the game. So this uh, this mainly goes for like game battles, maybe game dunzo, any of those online competitive um, games like the matches, you know, where you set it up, go to private game and invite people. Um, those are mainly for those people and I'm not saying those people only, but majority of those people. The next one is um, DLC. The new Resurrection DLC is launching August 23rd. So if you're watching this, August 23rd, then it comes out today. Should be out. Uh, you can go basically, you can go get it. Uh, you just gotta have to obviously update your console, but obviously if you're online, you're buying it, you would have updated it already. Uh, obviously if you're watching this later than the 23rd, then it's already out. So it doesn't matter. That's uh, basically it. Uh, obviously they have to add the support basically the menus and all that kind of stuff for the DLC so obviously an update has to be pushed and um, I don't know, that's that's basically all it is about the uh, DLC but it looks like they also are giving away the a moon theme and zombie soundtrack in the in-game store once you download the new DLC so basically if you like I don't know there I I don't know if there's a promotion or, or anything like that but there now is it see no see I don't, I don't know if this is free I don't know if this is if you have to buy it because all it says is once you've downloaded the new DLC it tells you to check out for the moon theme and zombie soundtrack uh, this is this is not guaranteed that it's free to me, when I'm reading it, maybe it is free, but it's not saying it is free. So, um, I don't know. I, when I first read that, I'm thinking it's free because you get the DLC. You kind of get a free gift pack with it, you know, kind of thing. Like, because it's only four new map, uh, four repeated maps and one new map. So, you're not really getting that much. Definitely, if you have World at War. So, it's not that big of, um, of a, a thing. But uh, an update that they haven't said um, is a new playlist. There's a playlist called Express. Um, I think Modern Warfare 2 had this, where the, the lobbies are shorter. The lobbies are 30 seconds, so you're not waiting like an hour just for everyone to get in. You're waiting 30 seconds. Um, but they also disabled the ghost perk and the second chance perk. So if any of you are out there that hate second chance and ghost, play this. The only sad thing about this is now that there's no ghost and second chance, people are gonna use other perks. Sadly there isn't any, or no, like, there's no other perk that will dominate this second chance or ghost, so it's fine, but now that no one's running ghost, UAV is number one. You're always gonna have the other team running UAVs, counter UAVs, also the Strela rocket launcher or whatever. I heard people were like, a lot of people were using that. So when I played this by myself, it was boring because I was playing headquarters and literally the other team, all they were using was UAVs and, and counter UAVs. So like literally, they know where we are all the time. My team is not getting any kills. So, and, and obviously we're running, um, or because we're getting countered spy plane. I, I can't do anything because I just prestige. Um, I will, I'll probably have like a little video at the beginning of this video or the ending to my prestige video where I just talk about prestiging and stuff but uh, I'm like four or five prestige I don't have that ability to shoot down um, every spy plane and stuff like that so it's annoying I also can't even create a new custom uh, kill streak so clearly if you're gonna play this make sure you get something that maybe stops that obviously you can't run ghost so that's down the uh, down the drain but uh, yeah, that's basically. Oh, and uh, the game modes. All I've seen is capture the flag, domination, headquarters. There might be more, but I don't have a full list of what they are. But um, that's some of the uh, play modes that uh, that are out for that playlist. I don't know why they just don't create a new playlist that has those disabled. So if you want to play TDM, you play TDM. If you want to play domination, play domination. But uh, that's their decision to make just a 
just one game mode like that, and that's them. But uh, yeah, this is just uh, just my update version for uh, Black Ops, and uh, oh, this is only for the 360. I don't know anything about the PS3. Um, I'm obviously looking at the P uh, 360 thread. So PS3, sorry if anyone out there has a PS3. I don't know if there is an update, but uh, I know the DLC is for 360. So uh, eventually you will get DLC support whenever it comes out. But uh, yeah, this has been another commentary. If you have any questions or concerns, want to talk about the new DLC or any fixes, uh, you can post in the comments below. Um, Please like and fave, it helps support the channel. I have a Twitter, it's at DJPerson9, you can follow me there. Please subscribe, click the subscribe button up top. But uh, yeah, this is the end of another Black Ops commentary. I'm DJPerson9, and I'm out. Peace.